Understudy finds it may be impossible to clone humans, but a Lexington researcher says he's already cloned a human embryo. Dr. Panos DeVos says if all goes well, he'll implant the embryo into a woman soon. I sat down with him today to talk about his research, the critics, and what's next. That's tonight's LEX 18 Health Watch. Here they are. He describes it as a milestone. Dr. Panos Zavos and his international team of researchers announcing in an online medical journal they've cloned a human embryo. At the same time, an article in the journal Science questions whether it can be done. Because they cannot accomplish it. They're just saying that this may be impossible to be done. Well, I have good news for them. We've done it. He says one embryo was created out of nine attempts. It involved removing the nucleus of a human egg from a young donor, replacing it with DNA from the cell of an American woman, and stimulating it to create an embryo. It's now frozen and will undergo tests to find out how stable it is and whether it carries any deformities. The embryo looks very normal. It is very healthy looking. But the DNA, its genetic information that carries, is the one that we are concerned about. And therefore, we're not going to allow an implantation of this embryo until we give it the test and passes the test. Dr. Zavos says his team is going by the book, oh, no, not, publishing their results first in what he describes as a top-of-the-line reproductive journal, edited by the man who created the first test tube baby. Zavos says more research papers are to come, and if tests are successful, the embryo could be implanted into a surrogate mother in the next month. Excitement doesn't, doesn't stop. There, we need to deliver a baby, and we need to deliver a healthy child. And so, you know, the beat goes on. Dr. Zavos will not reveal many details about the couple involved. He'll only say they're from the U.S., the woman is in her mid-40s, and they've tried in vitro fertilization and failed six times. He says the entire cloning process was videotaped by a British...